This video is on the pluggable USB 2.0 Bluetooth device. This is Bluetooth 4.0. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. There we go. Nothing else is in there. Now let's see if this is like all of Pluggable's other devices and easy to open. You'll see that it's Bluetooth 4.0 LE, low energy, classic Bluetooth adapter. Dual mode, whatever that means, we'll find out later. Upgrades Bluetooth support for Windows XP or later, meaning Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. Extremely compact USB adapter, and then you can read the rest of it. Comes with a CD drive so you can install the drivers, but I'm guaranteeing you that if you hook it up directly into a USB port on a Windows Vista or later computer, it will automatically detect the drivers and download them. I recommend sticking the USB adapter inside your USB port on your computer and then immediately running the disk or downloading the installer and running that. You will see all that here in just a little bit. No tools required, just a little bit of elbow grease. Put that right there. And then pull out the little USB thing. My word, that is tiny. To give you an idea of just how small this is, check this out. There's my lens cap. <laughs> Another size comparison. Here is my Evo 4 GLTE, and it's pretty much just the size of the camera. That is insanely small. Open this up. And you have instructions for how to pair it. Nothing else in here. Below is the download and install screen for the Windows Witcom drivers and software available at Pluggable. So you could go there and download the latest ones because as I'm sure you know, the CD will not contain the newest ones. Maybe the newest as of manufacturing and putting this device in the package, but there could have been an update yesterday and you bought it two weeks ago, if you get what I'm saying. That thing is just insanely freaking small. I can't get over it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this up into my computer. I'm not going to run the CD first. If I have any problems, then I'll run the CD. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB adapter and show you what happens. So as you can see, it's a very small adapter. Here is the Logitech wireless mouse. They are very, very close in size. Just slightly bigger, just barely. I'm going to plug it into the side. Unfortunately, I gotta put it right underneath this one. Otherwise, it'll stop recording with the Samsung Go mic. Hopefully, you can see it turn blue. If not, I'll put a little picture up. No, you can't really see that, but I will definitely put a picture up now. It says it's installing the drivers. I do very much highly recommend ejecting your disc tray and putting the disc in there it'll pop up a little thing saying run and I'll go ahead and demonstrate it I have taken an ISO and made a backup of this disc just in case you're on a computer that doesn't have a CD drive I will have a link or you can download this and I'll put it up now and then you can just mount it as you know a virtual drive which I'm using Damien tools light anyways see it's got this little thing right here this is what's going to pop up if you were to put this disc inside your computer. Run autorun.exe and then agree and install and then you just wait. Now this took a while on my other computer actually using the CD because the CD read speeds are quite slow. It says that you can use it as a hands-free Bluetooth device like uh, a Bluetooth headset and you can actually talk to people and record stuff using your phone or your you know any device as a recorder that has Bluetooth like a Bluetooth headset or a phone or etc. You can actually take the music that's playing on your phone and output it through Bluetooth onto your speakers on here. So like if you have all your music on Google Play Music on your phone and you want to throw it over your you know nice computer Bose speakers or whatever you happen to have you can do that. And you can also take your phone and use it as a modem in case you don't have internet and you can tether with your phone's built-in connection. It says you can back up, restore, synchronize contacts, calendar, email, and notes. You can also send and browse SMS messages. This is pretty cool. It says you can use your phone as a webcam for your computer. That's something I haven't tried yet and I will definitely look into. Of course, the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, that's pretty common. It's pretty awesome not having to use up a USB port like this to use a Bluetooth mouse since your computer might not have Bluetooth in it and if you have a keyboard and other Bluetooth devices you have just this one thing that is connecting all those together so it's not multiple USB things hanging outside your computer. 
Here's where it says send or browse SMS messages from your phone. Now when you click on this, it's going to say showing searching Windows update. Everything is ready to use. Go away, cat. I definitely recommend using the disk because it's going to take a while to download everything. And if you have a slow connection, you're going to really regret just downloading the thing from the website that it has on the package, which is like this pamphlet like folds out and has a bunch of instructions on it. Pluggable.com slash product slash USB dash BT 4 LE. I will have a link to that on the screen and I will also have a short URL so you can just type it in and if you want you can actually just click on the link in the description which will take you to that page where you can download them but like I said if you have slow internet I highly recommend using the disk it will speed up everything that would be pretty freaking sweet to use your phone as a webcam like the front-facing camera on your Galaxy Note 2 and then record video chat like this thing doesn't have a webcam so I've been using just a USB webcam for when I need to use it. Actually, I just use my main computer because it's a lot better than this one. This is just more of a have it on 24-7, have stuff uploading and downloading, and <laughs> for all you torrenting people out there. All right, it says the setup is might not be available until the next time you log in. All right, and then you can just right-click on your little Bluetooth icon you have down there now. If you don't see it down there, click this little arrow thing and it'll show all the hidden ones. And if you don't want it to stay hidden, you can click customize and then it brings up this thing like Windows Explorer Bluetooth. I choose show icons and notifications. That way it doesn't ever hide and things you use frequently like Dropbox and your internet security and etc. You want it to say show icons and notifications. That way it's always down there 24 seven and it's quickly to get to without having to press this and go to it. And sometimes, you know, it may not be working and you go up here and you're like, huh, why isn't it not in there? So yeah, I recommend having show icons and notifications. Anyways, we're gonna click on open settings. And then on here, you're gonna see a little box and it says allow Bluetooth devices to find this computer, allow Bluetooth to connect. Okay, it said some stuff won't be available until we log in, re-log in. So let's go ahead and reboot this computer. Okay, so we've installed the updates, we rebooted. Um, Apparently not all, whatever. Anyways, that's not related to the adapter. On our phone, we're gonna go here to, actually we're gonna go here, we're gonna right click on my computer, go to manage, and then device manager. And look, everything is just fine. It says Bluetooth, and it has the Broadcom Bluetooth 4.0 USB device. Now on our phone, we're gonna press on Bluetooth, and then we're gonna hold on it. Your device may be different, and then you're gonna see the PC, and on here it's going to say do you want to allow it's trying to connect just press on it and then it's going to have a little code and it's going to ask you is that the same thing you see on the screen which it is so we're going to press next and then we're going to press ok or pair sometimes it's different all these little things are popping up well the phone says it's paired so that's good Everything is ready to use. Configuring Bluetooth services. Press close. It's been successfully added. Configure Bluetooth services. Oh, cool. It's got like all the music that's on my Bluetooth on my phone and it's doing it through Bluetooth. Josh PC is requesting your messages. I'm gonna go ahead and allow it. It's like a really Blue, let me go ahead and hopefully you can see that. It says Josh PC and it's blue. Honestly, I tried this on my computer in the living room and it didn't quite work. It's got like a Bluetooth headset and a speaker device and it says connected. That's awesome. My Asus G74X, I'm gonna have to like uninstall all my Bluetooth stuff and retry it all, but it's working. Send files to the phone. I'm gonna browse, go to my desktop and yeah, let's go ahead and transfer this file and then press send. What's it going to do? Oh, sending. Do you want to accept it? Accept. And it's showing the bytes transferred. And then right here, it says one successful. And then I can press on it. Open it with quick pick. And there it is. Sweet. 
That's awesome. So on here, I should be able to click on my speaker icon, do recording devices, and check that out. My phone is on there, the Bluetooth handset free thing. If you can see that, I hope you can. That's freaking sweet. What can I show you? Let me open up something like YouTube, since uh, I can't really play copyrighted stuff. I can go on here and I can... Flossie Carter, he's an awesome dude. I can play his stuff. What is that? Oh, probably over Bluetooth. I'm turning up the speakers on my laptop. Yeah, and then pressing the little icon up there, place the speakers, place it to the speakers on the phone. Pressing it again will take it and put it over Bluetooth. So if you had like a really good sound system hooked up to your computer, it would be playing this YouTube video, your Google Music, or anything you want through your computer sound system. Obviously the speakers on this are kind of whack and suck. So yeah. See you later, Flossy, but this video is almost over with. Now, I don't know how I can make it a webcam. That's pretty interesting. I'll have to figure that one out, but I can right click on it and show Bluetooth devices. There's my phone, double click on it. And it's like, okay, music and video, headset and speakerphone, SMS. I don't know how I would use it as a webcam though. That's something I'll have to figure out. All right, well, you see it there. Like I said a couple times, I recommend taking this, putting it in your disk drive, and running it that way, as the download can be quite lengthy. Trust me, I did it on my other laptop, and it took a few minutes, when this will just take a minute. And like I said, I will have an ISO image of this, just in case your netbook or laptop or any computer doesn't have a disk drive. You can download the ISO, you can use Damien Tools Lite, or any tool you'd like, that mounts an ISO as an image, or if you lost your disc that came with yours, you can download the one that I'll link to in the description, burn it to a disc, and use it on the computer with a disk drive. Or you can just simply download the little file from the website, and it'll take you to this page right here. You just click on Broadcom Driver Download Page, and then you click Download Now, and then you accept it, and it'll start downloading this EXE, and when it's done, you'll be able to click on it, and then run and if you didn't have the disk it would start downloading the whole thing and it says detect bluetooth device validate bluetooth device downloading bluetooth software and install bluetooth software this takes a while depending on your connection i have 50 down 10 up and it still takes a minute for it to download on my connection it says my software is up to date so actually the disk as of 12 what is today December 3rd, 2012, this disc is current with the current software. So you don't actually have to download it, it would be pointless. Unless you don't have a disc drive and this is the easiest way for you. For the price, I highly recommend picking this little adapter up. You can have your Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, your phone, anything that's Bluetooth and it'll connect to it. And it's the very latest Bluetooth 4.0. So you're not gonna have any issues. You can play the sound from your phone onto your computer and you might even be able to do it vice versa. I will have a link to this pluggable Bluetooth 4.0 adapter in the description of this video. Please click on it. If you wanna buy it later on, add it to your wish list or add it to your car and check out later. That's all I ask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll have many more videos like this to come, and I've got videos to do tomorrow and Wednesday and tons more videos coming on multiple Android devices and more cool USB and electronics and tech and just everything. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.